guys. So I am now one week post-op. I had my surgery on the 10th of August and it is now the 17th. I thought I'd just do a quick little snippet, say what's going on. So, surgery. It has happened. This, this is me. Ignore the chub. I'm working on that. I thought I'd just talk about what's going on. So at the moment I've got a bit of uh, microplate going along my incisions just to sort of keep them nice and protected when I put my blinder back on as well as a little bit of gauze over both nipples the left one still seems to be bleeding a tiny bit but I mean nobody's worried about it so just got to keep an eye on it I'm a little bit I don't have much I can't actually feel any of that it feels a little bit sore a bit swollen especially there but it's not terrible and then I've got pretty much feeling of my whole chest nipples I can't I can't feel they feel completely numb where I've been wearing my binder and I've got lots of little marks where it's been digging in my worst one being that one which is actually really numb and really sore at the same time so I think I'm gonna have to start not wearing that binder and wearing a different one because it shouldn't be hurting that much so we've got left one goes all the way around there, we've got the right one, all the way around, to there, it's quite sore still, if my arm's any further than that, um, it sort of pulls right down there, I sometimes get quite a bit of pain coming from that nipple, it's sort of like a really weird twingy sort of pain, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's, it's sore, otherwise yeah, no, the most pain I've actually got is that bit on my back, I've been struggling to sleep, I'm not sure why I haven't been getting to sleep till about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, I think I'm lucky. I think that's just because of the way I'm sleeping in bed. Being on my back the whole time and sort of being a little bit more upright, I just can't sleep like that. So, this is my bed. Um, bit of a mess at the moment, ignore that. Uh, so what I've got is, it usually looks a little bit better than that, it's because I've been sleeping on it, is uh, you can see the V pillow, you've got one bit there and then it sort of goes, sort of falls down the end of the bed, but don't worry about that. Um, and then two pillows propped up against it. What I do is when I'm actually sitting against it, I lift the V pillow up so the top bit sort of gets to about there and turn the pillows vertically so then I can sort of sit against it. Um, and then I'm sitting upright and it's it's a lot more comfortable. Um, when I'm lying down, it's usually a little bit flatter than that. Um, the V's not falling down the side of the bed. And that first pillow sort of comes down a little bit, whereas the second pillow goes up a little bit. Um, so that first pillow is sort of more supporting my back and chest. And then the back pillow is supporting my head, and so I don't hit my head against that bit, because that's very sore when that does happen. Um, so, yeah. I'm thinking of switching to using this binder. I've tried it on, and it doesn't. It binds probably just as well as my binder that Mr. Berry gave me. So, today... I haven't really done much apart from trying to look after myself after taking my binder off. I gave myself a really good wash, mining out for all of my sticky tapes and bits and bobs just because I don't want to get them wet and I don't want to change them today because I only got changed yesterday and I don't want to keep playing with the incisions. It, my skin's quite dry so it keeps ripping parts of me off. So yeah, I've done that today. Mum's going to find me some form of bandage I think to put over that bruise or whatever it is that's on my back there that's really sore and hopefully we can get that healing because wearing a binder now is a hell of a lot more painful and it's none of it's in my chest there is nothing painful about my chest it's just that tiny bit on my back it's horrible so yeah this, this has been my seven days post-op don't really know if there's much else to say but if you have any questions then just get in touch